Come on in. Good morning and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV. My name is Katie O'Neill and I am so excited about today's video. Uh, so as usual, I like to start my RV videos from the inside out. So Avin, go ahead and take her on back. I am joining you today from Colorado Springs where we are at the 2024 dealer meeting and we are ordering all of next year's product. And man, are we talking about some exciting stuff. Uh, first and foremost, this London Air has a full redesign. This is definitely one of the first option, or opportunities you're going to have to see the changes and upgrades that we have for the 2024 London Air. Now this is our very, very uh, popular 4551, and I can't wait to show you through some of the phenomenal changes that they've come up with to really make this a reason to consider getting a new London Air. First and foremost, look at this bathroom. I love this shower. Look at the cool chrome finish on your conditioner, shampoo, and uh, body wash dispensers. Look at this really fantastic, really neat black hardware that you have uh, for your faucets, for your shower head. Um, I also like the fact that they've taken out um, the, the uh, decorative inlays and they've just given you this really nice straight stack uh, tile with the different patterns in it though. So it's really still got that texture, but it's very understated, very, very demure. Um, of course, we have a, our, we still have our AquaView shower, uh, shower miser system. This is going to help you conserve that 80 gallons of gray water you have. Uh, this coach also, of course, has a 60 gallon black water tank, 105 gallons of fresh water, and also this coach has the optional lithium ion battery pack with 640 amp hours of battery. And new for 2024, you can actually order it factory equipped with that third battery, bringing you up to 960 amp hours of batteries. Um, now you'll see there's been a lot of little updates throughout this. So we've got the black shower surround. My robe hook is black. Um, also we have black handles on our furniture. So everything is nice and dark. It actually really gives it a streamlined look. We have our Splendid stackable washer and dryer. A great drawer down below to keep all of your uh, your pods, your dryer sheets, anything along those lines. And then I also love, look at these beautiful dual basin sinks. These vessel sinks are so gorgeous. Uh, this is such a fun thing. And they've done this in the Ventana as well. They've given us these really cool new vessel sinks. I love this black bowl though. This is something that's unique to the London Air. Of course, it ties into that faucet, giving you a much more modern or contemporary look. We have our inlaid light within our mirror so you not only do you have your uh, your lights above but you also have them coming out at you so if you're trying to get ready in the morning you really have good visibility great amount of room here in our medicine cabinet along with two 110 outlets as well and then take a look at all of the storage back here so a ton of room stackable room here for your sweaters for your jeans and then this beautiful shoe closet as well hanging space throughout. Now, of course, you could take one or two of those shelves out if you needed to have hanging storage the full length of the closet. So good flexibility there. But also they've given you a double stack here so you have even more room here. Uh, you've got, of course, your day and night shades are power. Your Dometic flush is right here. We have our egress door as well. And again, so much room in this coach, but as you can see, when you put these little handles in here and they're all this black hardware, it really gives it a nice, subtle look. But you've got four of these full extension soft closed drawers, huge room for linens underneath both sides. Uh, so if you want to put your towels here, you could have one for your bathroom and one for your beach towels. You've got 110 outlets uh, on either side of these um, sinks as well. Just a really, really nice design here in the bathroom. Lots of functionality. Um, now, as we get here into uh, the master bedroom, you'll notice that we have new decorative inlays for our cabinetry. So all of our Lambrequins have this really beautiful tweed. Um, this is going to be the Balboa decor. I really like the Balboa decor. I love the tweed. I love the pillows. Everything about this is fantastic. Then we have our overhead cabinets as well. And an all new headboard, beautifully tufted headboard, nice and soft to the touch. We've got cross ventilation in both of these windows. Um, of course, you know, a few years back we went up to that chair rail with the smoked mirror. 
Uh, but please note that inside of this door, on this side, there's also a full length dressing mirror as well. So lots of places to make sure that you're looking, you know, the nines when you go out to dinner or get ready in this coach. Uh, we've got 110 outlet here, two windows. You've got a nice storage space here above that has all of your HDMI cords to your television. And then I'm a big fan of the smaller drawers. Being able to separate your, uh, your wares, you know, whether it be your jewelry, your watches, uh, his and hers, you know, just a nice place to keep, you know, all of my sunglasses are in this drawer, all of yours are in that drawer. Um, just nice to have all of the separation of space. Oh, that's a good idea. We should put our books in the drawers. Uh, <laughs> we're here at the Newmar dealer meeting, and I'll tell you, it is such a treat to see um, so many talented people, the way that they think, um, the way that they exercise uh, their orders, the way that, you know, that all these different people in this community come together and really make Newmar the fantastic product that it is. Now, as you'll note here, I'm standing on this all tile floor. This is part of Moore floor. This is why um, Newmar is such a phenomenal manufacturer. You can buy this beautiful coach and you can use your central vacuum and just sweep your coach into your kick plate instead of having to have a little dustpan. Now, I keep doing this. Poor Kim does such a nice job decorating, and I keep taking apart everything, but it's important to see underneath your two table extensions, but also you have a great place if you need to put a CPAP machine on either side of these beds, and much like that of the King Anna, there's a little cutouts above these doors here so that you can actually go ahead and you can put your cords out through the top and run it through to the machine or to your cell phone up there on, on the nightstand. So really, really nice feature once again. Um, also, you'll note that all of our ductwork is covered again by this beautiful decorative inlays in our ceiling. A little bit different. Again, you've got that same detail that you find on your sconces on both sides of the ceiling. No one will ever know we were here. Um, I feel so lucky to be able to bring you this coach though. So we walked through a few of them. There's a lot of cool stuff. Um, but, you know, the 4550 run remains to be my favorite execution of a London Air just because it has such a huge pantry. This year, uh, actually in 2023, we added uh, these removable trays. So if you can imagine, if you didn't have this tray in place, or maybe you used it somewhere else, like in this little section here, you could have a thin cutting board there and actually fit a pot here. So you can actually stow not just cutting boards, but you can also stow pots and pans, frying pans, uh, larger pots underneath here in this pantry, giving you so much more room in this kitchen. And again, uh, the 4551, for those of you who aren't familiar, is a bath and a half model. So take a look at this luxurious center bath. Your kick plate is located in here as, as well as your actual um, plate port for your inner vac attachments. It's down there below. And then right above that kick plate, you'll see that's where that hydronic heat pushes out in that bathroom. So these uh, floors are heated. You've got three zone heated floors. You've, of course, got all of the niceties that you had in your master bath in the rear here in the center bath. So if you're the early morning riser and you want to have your flat, or flat iron plugged in or your curling iron, you can go ahead and store everything in here. Keep it out of the way. You also have your backlit mirror. You have, the, again, that beautiful faucet. I love the way they have this seamless undermount sink. Lots of storage here, again, for towels. You also have your toilet paper holder. You've got your own ventilation, so your own fan. A nice drawer here for storage. You can keep all of your makeup here. You've got a nice little countertop. If you wanted to use this like a vanity, this would be very functional. And then another cabinet here. And then, of course, above me here, we have the brains of the operation. This is where we keep all of our... Those magnets are new. <laughs> All of our circuit breakers and everything, as you can see, is really clearly labeled right here in the center. So very easy access in the center of the coach. Our fantastic fans, of course, are nice and covered by this little wood shroud above them so you don't see them as much. And then new for 2023, we have this large 10-inch monitor right here in the center. So not only can you operate this with your phone, but if you're just here in the center of the coach and you want to make sure that you have your climate control set right or maybe you want to operate your shades or maybe you want to put the tv lift up you can do all of that right here 
through the center. And then you can operate your black, your block heater. You can also use coach mode. So this is saying that we're indoor, we're plugged in. You hit activate, it chooses the different buttons that you might need to have checked off uh, simply by choosing your mode. So really love that. Again, you can operate your floor heat, everything else. And then I did want to just show you, here you can see uh, your, all of your batteries, um, all of your AC and DC power, as well as your generator, all right here in the center control, as well as your water and your climate. So everything here is very, very nice and centralized and no longer over the driver's seat. So it's right here in the middle of the coach, which makes a lot more sense. Now here in the 4551, of course, we have a starboard side bath or kitchen. Um, we have this full extension slide, um, of course, so that you can get all the way to the back without having to reach. For those of us that are vertically challenged, that's very appreciated. Thank you so much, Numar, for taking care of that. Um, also, I love this new Blanco sink. I think it's kind of funny that it's called Blanco because very clearly it's Negro, but whatever. It's a really cool uh, addition with a great faucet. And then all of your spices go up here. You've got your nice whirlpool induction and microwave uh, convection and microwave oven above your induction cooktop. So this remains to be my favorite coach for 2024. I was really nervous. Uh, they took my Essex and they removed my true induction cooktop. They gave me a nicer cooktop, but it's not removable. One of the things that I really like about this cooktop is I like really nice pots and pans and I can bring one set because I can just take this out bring it outside to my picnic table and I can actually make bacon or cook trout outside as opposed to cooking inside and getting, you know, that kind of fishy smell in your coach is not attractive. So really love this induction cooktop and the fact that it's still removable. And of course we still have our cutting boards on the back. If you're wondering where my sink covers are, they are stowed right down here below. If I pop this out, maybe you can see better. So right here, and then you'll note I have access not only to my trash can, but I have access to any of the things I'd like to keep behind here, as well as another full extension slide tray. And what Numar would be complete without a scrubby holder? <laughs> yeah, my favorite thing in these coaches. I love the fact that you've got a place to keep your sponge. I can't stand yucky sponges in the bottom of the sink. Um, another great little cabinet. And so for those of you that have been in the market for uh, a coach for a while, I know that you've probably seen the 4551 um, a few times, and that's because it is such a very, very storage-laden coach. There's so much capacity in this RV for people that are out there in the world trying to uh, you know, spend a little more time in the wilderness, that want to get out and see their family members, that want to traverse our beautiful countryside. Um, it's just so nice to have all the amenities that you would like to have. Now, of course, of course uh, this island does stow away when you bring the slides in, and these also stow away. But what I was so excited about when I saw the Balboa decors, look, I love this tweed fabric with the leather seating. I mean, what a great idea, because we all know that if you spill something, it's not gonna be on the backrest, it's gonna be on the seat. So this gives you that breakup, um, that little bit of texture that you want in the cab of your coach without um, giving you that potential to have staining, if you will. Also, you'll note that if I bring this out, whoo -hoo, I can really easily seat six. Now, of course, this is the convertible booth dinette. These chairs do take up the space you would normally have underneath the seats, but we can do that in the 4551 because there is so much room. And very importantly, you still have room for your Pimpernel placemats down here underneath. Can you see that, Evan? So today we are shooting videos on uh, the London Air, on the Mountain Air, and on the Ventana, all three that have had full facelifts for 2024. So super excited to bring these to you. But one of the best things about this London Air is I really love the way they've updated and changed the interior of this ceiling of all of the cabinets. This is such a nice new look for us. We have had um, really great success with this product, but it's nice to come in and get that refresh. And also, uh, you can still order this without the optional lithium ion batteries, which is a really big deal for me because I think it's a big expense and I don't think that I would need them, but for the type of camping you do, you might want them. That second 3000 watt inverter that you get 
with the lithium ion battery pack gives you the ability to run your central air conditioning as well while you're driving without having to run your 12,500 uh, watt generator. Again, you've got a 12.5 kilowatt generator on this RV that you could run your air conditioning with, but of course it's right underneath the driver's cab, therefore negating all of the benefit that you have uh, to having your, your generator in the front of the coach. We all know diesel pushers are really liked because, well, let's see, 605 horsepower, K3 Spartan chassis, 1,850 foot-pounds of torque, 20,000 pound towing capacity, and all of that's in the back, which means when you're driving down the road, it's not in the front. The other thing that we really like about this coach is that if you're sleeping in the Arizona hot you know, desert climate and that just doesn't get below 70 that night and you want to have your air conditioning running full bore, you can run that front generator and close your bedroom door and not hear a peep. But for those of us that are boondocking that might have family sleeping here in your fantastic couch um, or on your uh, jackknife, you would also have the capacity to do that without having to run your generator by having these lithium ion batteries. And, ag and again, in 2024, you can order that third battery, which brings you from 640 amp hours to 300, I'm sorry, 960. So 960 amp hours of storage. Um, I have eight AGM batteries on my coach, so I've got 800 amp hours. But the way that that power uh, goes into my appliances, as I have lower battery uh, fill, um, I have lower, uh, lower power going to my appliances. Appliances really like to have a consistent form of power. That's one of the reasons that it's so nice to have these lithium ion battery packs. They drop down at a consistent level and notifies you when your generator needs to go on. It turns on, refills those batteries, and you don't ever have that fluctuation of power. So it's a big deal to Numar. It's a big deal for longevity. So for those of you spending a lot of time in your coach, it certainly would be an investment worth exploring. Um, now you'll notice here I've got the Televator up. Um, as you can see, the 4551 is a great job with giving you that living room feeling, but having opposing couches, if you're entertaining, you could also put the TV down, just use your Bose soundbar overhead, um, or you could leave the TV up and you could put your PlayStation 5 right here in the center. It's all pre-wired for you and you could play some video games. So really cool features to this coach. Of course, being able to control this on your phone. Uh, is a great new feature for us. Um, I probably forget to show this little cabinet quite frequently, but that's a nice place to have a little cabinet. You can keep a bottle of Prosecco underneath there, or maybe Glenn Levitt, and then you just pull it out when you get to your campsite and pour yourself a three finger and call it a day. All right, so we have our beautiful queen seat here. Uh, we also have our dual monitors here. Everything in the auto show, of course, is turned off for safety, uh, safety reasons, but this is going to be where your 360 camera will, dis will display. You also have your nav and go navigation system. You got your Kurt Spectrum integrated brake control right here, your all glass dash. And then also you've got new buttons down here on the bottom of your Spartan steering wheel. Uh, this is giving you just more control of the things that are on these screens without having to take your eyes off the road. You also have here on the left, your HWH hydraulic leveling system. You have your Allison uh, transmission, and then that is also where you would adjust your engine brake. You've got heated power mirrors. And then as you can see in those turn, you know, on those turn signals, they are actually integrated into the side mirrors themselves along with the cameras. That's a nice feature. And now that we've got that big control monitor out of the middle of the coach, we've been able to simplify this cockpit as well. And in 2024, we've added for you an emergency on and off switch so that you can reset your uh, lithium ion battery pack. That's a really nice feature. Uh, for those of you that have been dabbling this for a while, you usually have to do this outside of the coach. It's much more convenient to be do, able to do it from the inside of the coach. Um, so this coach is equipped with the WineGuard, uh, both satellite system and Wi-Fi system. Please note that at TransWest, we have had a lot of fun with Cradle Point, Starlink, um, all sorts of different ways to enhance your Wi-Fi, and we are going to order most of our coaches for 2024 without satellite systems because we can really install them for you at the factory or at the dealership for close to the same price point as it, it would cost you to order them factory. But this way, if you didn't order the coach and you come in and you have a dish you know, receiver that you like to use and you've got it at your home, you could just use your dish. Whereas if you have a DirecTV receiver, you've got to do that whole 
you know, adaptive thing, costs another two grand. It's just really not fun. So we're going to order most of our coaches without them because between all of the different Wi-Fi systems that are available, whether it be Starlink, Cradle Point, or any of the Numar systems, and with having all of our 4K TVs that are smart TVs, you can actually just watch Hulu, watch Netflix, whatever it happens to be. Maybe you're a Paramount person. I, sus I subscribe to Paramount. Um, and then you can just download those things onto your television without actually having to have satellites. So that's going to come your way in 2024 as well. Um, I love our faux cabinets. I showed them on the other side last time. These are our awning controls uh, for our Gerard awnings. So if you need a manual awning control or you just forgot to grab the remote out of the drawer, you could do that. Here's the, oh shit, we lost the Jeep camera. Almost missed that on the last video as well. Also your cell phone charging dock and your mobile desk. So when you're going down the road, you can actually work or play. Um, lock and unlock for all of your baggage doors, super important. And then your, ba your house battery disconnect as well. And then do note that there is no storage under these stairs. I do like the storage under the stairs on the Dutch Star of the Mountaineer. I think that that's cool. I have a friend who asked me if we were gonna go to the Essex and the King Air uh, power door locks uh, in the 2024 model. I didn't know the answer. The answer is we are sticking with our beautiful standard chrome handle door locks but we have improved our seal system here. So these are a lot easier to close nowadays. Also, you've got your Dometic here on the slide tray with storage above. And please note that when you pull this out, what's so nice about this is I can't show you the walking room in these coaches because I can't operate the slides at the auto show, but I can pull this all the way out past the slide so I can open it uh, and get my beer out, even if I'm camping. So that's super nice. And then as I mentioned earlier, these are a lot easier to close now than they have been in the past. I love these little trays up above. This is a very nice feature here. You've got your easy glide uh, slide trays here. These are 1,000 pound weight rated capacity and they come out to 60% so that you can get to the center of the coach and load all of your lawn chairs, maybe your barbecue and still get to everything from right here, even with the slides out. So you're not gonna have to bonk your head. Um, I have seen some pretty nasty head bonking um, in, <laughs> in the few years that I've been selling RVs. And I'll tell you one thing, it's something certainly to avoid. Um, you also have, of course, the beautiful chrome trim package at the bottom of these doors, giving this coach this extra decadent look. Uh, but this is the York paint uh, decor. This is new for 2024. And I have to tell you, it's a kind of a marine blue, almost teal, but more of a marine blue paired with black a very nice white, probably sidewall white, a dark, dark platinum gray. Uh, it, it is just a gorgeous uh, coach by far. Uh, Wyndham was my favorite Essex last year. This is my favorite coach this year. I love this new London Air paint color. Again, another 43 inch Samsung Smart TV, another sound bar. You also have two USB ports and two 110 outlets in the center bay, and you can play your dash radio off of this. So if you're listening to a ball game and you just want to tune in to like listen to the Giants win the uh, playoffs again, you can do that. Or the pennant, I should say. Huge slide tray here all the way through. So this is your second full slide. And then a half slide right here. Again, all of these slides are so useful. Also, we have our inner vac here. This is a manual slide tray. And that inner vac is great for vacuuming off children, dogs, paddle boards, whatever it is that you might be doing. Really have been enjoying the paddle boarding since we got our RV. We spent a lot of time out there. Oh, there's a cord in the way. I don't want to break that. All right. So here we have, of course, our favorite compartment. This is where we keep all of the top shelf booze. We've got our Belvedere, our, you know, uh, Glenlivet and then all of our mixers down below. No, I'm just kidding. This is for tire shine, you guys. We don't drink here at Newmar. We're driving RVs all the time. But if you do, you could have a really nice bar for your friends right out there outside. Oh, see this? This is the lane tracking package. There's three of these on each side of the coach. This is a radar system. For those of you who aren't familiar, you can use sonar or radar uh, to be able to detect something next to you. This is actually gonna help you know if somebody's in your blind spot, so you're not gonna be uh, worried about turning into somebody. It's actually gonna alert you and let you know if you are actually going to turn into someone, which is a really cool feature. Now here we'll come to these rear axles. This is a big difference maker for this coach. So as you see here, we've got an any, 
and then we have an Audi. But with the Audi in the back and the Audi in the front, this rear wheel actually has a pin. It can release that pin. This wheel can pivot up to 17 degrees, giving you a really tiny, tiny, tiny turning radius, even though you're in a 40 foot, 44 foot, 10 inch long coach. So this coach, even though it's really long, is really turning from this center wheel. This is a huge benefit to you. And of course, it also helps to give you better longevity in that rear tire because it's not dragging. It's actually turning and you're pivoting on this front wheel. So this tag axle is a huge, huge benefit to you, um, especially being that it gives you that real 20,000 pound towing capacity. So when I say 20,000 pound towing capacity, what I'm talking about is you could have this coach completely full. You know, you don't have to worry about, you know, driving around without any lawn chairs, family, water, gas, whatever it might be. You can put your 150 gallons of fuel in here, you can put your 105 gallons of fresh water, load up the family, put in the paddle boards, get it completely loaded with all of the stuff that you have and still have a 20,000 pound towing capacity because Nunar builds these coaches to be able to withhold the tow capacity that they advertise on that hitch. Sometimes that hitch rating is just what the hitch is rated to and it's not relevant to its actual capacity. In this coach you actually have, because of this system and a number of other things and that Spartan K3 chassis, the capacity to tow really heavy things. So load up that F-150, you know, I don't care, tow your G-Wagon, whatever you want to do, huh, Avin? Uh, <laughs> Avin's nodding. We're G-Wagon fans around here. All right, so we've got our def tank here. Also, you'll note that up here above the def tank, this is where if you had an airbag that needed to get a little bit of extra air there, you could fill that up right there with a compressor. Um, and one of the things that Spartan takes great pride in is also ease of access to filters. So you can see this compartment is really tidy, really easy to get to. You've got your two chassis batteries, your on-off switches right here. Um, just a really nice feature. And then here in the back, here's another one of those sensors for your, uh, for your blind spot. You've got a brand new end cap. Look at the beautiful end cap that they've given this coach. So prominent, so much power in this RV. Of course, K3 605. Again, 1,850 foot-pounds of torque. Look at this two and a half inch hitch, already pre-wired for your tow brake. Again, this has an integrated Kurt Spectrum brake controller. Your Voyager system's already pre-wired, so if you want to have that option included when you put your build in, you can just plug in your stacker trailer and see behind you. Uh, also, with the Spartan, when you have your tire pressure monitoring system, you can also, I'm afraid if I push this down, Evan, it's gonna push me, it's gonna hit me in the face. Oh, I can't, I can't get it. I can't get it. In there, in there is, <laughs> Should I try one more time? He says, yes, I should do it. All right. I'm always afraid to do this because sometimes they have like little hydraulic things and they pop right up. This one, honestly, I I can't get it. I'm not going to try. If I try too hard, it's going to pop me in the face. But in here you have, um, again, you've got 605 horsepower engine with 1,850 foot-pounds of torque. That What that means is you can go ahead and pass cars going up the hill. I know a lot of people don't like to feel like they... Um, are having a hard time or struggling going up the hill, this is the coach that you need if you want to have the capacity. And I hate to tell you this, but if you're looking at a Prevo or a Newell and you think that you're going to have any advantage by having um, that product in terms of power, it's all the same thing. It's all right here. It's that ISX. It's all in the back in this Cummins. Um, sorry, I can't show it to you, but I can show you this beautiful side mounted radiator and access to your DEF tank here as well. So you've got dual fill DEF. Dual fuel, uh, fuel, 150 gallons of fuel. Nice little place to keep some gloves maybe. Um, a few rags if you want for when you're filling up your def. Of course, it's kind of a stinky thing to have to do. Another one of those radar monitors for your side assist. Nice docking lights. Really great uh, sewage bay here. One of the nice things is this also has the SantaCon system standard. And we have here, oh, not standard. It has a SantaCon system, it's optional. I know it's not standard because I sold an Essex that didn't have one. But boy, what a difference that makes. Um, so the SantaCon system's here, but there's also a place to load up your gravity hose. So if you want to put your gravity hose here, it can run through this compartment and come out. You've got your whole house water filter. You've got your paper towel dispenser. You also have your shower. So all of this outside. Again, much easier to close doors. And then here we have our 50 uh, foot power cord on a power reel. We also have this little pigtail here for a stacker trailer. 
or anything else that you might need to charge. I don't know, maybe you have electric bikes or something like that or a side-by-side. -side. Whatever you need to charge, though, you've got a little power source right there that can pull off. Again, this has got that fantastic lithium-ion battery pack. And then a surge protector built in. You can still use a pole protector if you'd like. People ask me that all the time. There's nothing wrong with blowing up the $300 one and not having to replace the one on your coach, right? Um, as you can see here, we've got AC heat powers on. If there was any kind of fault, you would be able to read what it is right here on the on the surface of this Oasis dual loop Chinook system. These cords here that you see with that yellow fluid are part of that dual loop system. That's that loop system is going underneath the coach here, pushing hot uh, hot hydronic fluid through the boiler underneath the floors and then pushing air over the top of them, giving you that nice hydronic heat in this coach. The other thing that this benefits you is it's keeping your basement bays nice and air conditioned as well, so you're not going to have to worry about water or freeze damage. The other nice thing is this takes up a heck of a lot less room than our old fashioned water heaters that had, you know, six or 10 gallon capacities. This is a tankless hot water heater and you can run it on AC1, AC2, or you can actually run it on the burner system. And that is a really fantastic thing because if you want super hot water for your shower, you just flip that burner and you're good to go. Uh, as you can see here, there is a ton of storage space underneath here. I'm going to tell you, I really think we need to get an indoor showroom so I can sit on the floor while we're shooting our videos because I'm really enjoying this being able to be under the slide thing without having to worry about crawling around in the dirt. <laughs> so I think, um, Andrew, if you're watching this video right now, I'm in a petition for carpeted showrooms to make videos in. Okay, so do you guys wanna see something cool? So if you look up here, you can see the way the Star Foundation has actually raised the chassis up off of the foundation. So you can see here, I'll come over here, obviously so you can get in front of me. You can see where that, where that Star Foundation has raised the coach over the chassis rail. So we've got a three foot, or three foot, <laughs> three inch thick subfloor on top of the Star Foundation that's mounted up to Big Bertha. And then we cook that tile, bring it over, place it on top of the, of the floor of this coach. And what that does is that gives you less tile popping, less creaking going down the road. That gives you better insulation against heat in the summer. It gives you better insulation against cold in the winter. And it gives you a much, much more efficient way to heat or cool your coach because you're not working so hard to keep those temperatures. So really important in so many different aspects. Now here's where we get into the big dog. So we've got our two 3000 watt inverters here. Um, as you can see, we also have our two lithium ion battery as well. This could have a single inverter and eight AGMs. That's the standard equipment on the London Air. This is the optional upgrade, but with that upgrade, you get the Lithionics package, and then you also get that second inverter, again, giving you one of your three 15,000 BTU air conditioners can be running off of the inverter without having your generator running while you're going down the road or while you're boondocking. So if you're a big camper, maybe you uh, do a lot of equestrian stuff, you're trackside quite frequently, this is a very important feature for you. This can really change the way that you camp. So we love that aspect of this coach. Okay, so now we're here at the front of the RV. Again, another fueling dock right there. That's 150 gallon fuel capacity. So dual fill on both sides. And then as you'll note, Another one of these sensors, we talked about that turn signal being in the mirror right here. We talked about that camera. We've got the brains of the operation. Also, I don't know why everyone doesn't get a squeegee, but if you get a London Air, you get a squeegee. And then that little HWH button is how you would uh, put out the front of this coach. The little guy pops out the nose, slides out front, gives you access to your 12.5 kilowatt generator. And what's missing from the front of this coach, folks? It's not the mobile eye. It's not the radar detector that we have for our lane tracking package or our drive assist package. What we're missing here in the London Air are windshield wipers because they're tucked underneath. They're gonna give you better longevity, less chance of them cracking or getting stuck to the windshield in those cold temperatures. So you're gonna have better visibility out of that huge, beautiful windshield going down the road. Um, so again, this is, as you can see, a brand new facelift for 2024 uh, for the London Air. So classy, so beautiful. This is the York uh, paint color. We've got new updated headlights as of 2023 that have auto high beams, um, but this, this new front end cap and rear end cap and then interior fascia is being brought to you here live in Colorado Springs at the Newmar dealer meeting by TransWest Truck Trailer RV. My name's Katie O'Neill. Please feel free to reach out and contact me at any time. My contact information is down below. 
I'm available at 303-562-8659. Text me, call me, email me. Let me know how I can help get you out on the road and camping.